हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस टू एस क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल सो टूडे वील स्टडी अबाउट रेजिस्टेंस एंड रेजिस्टर्स ओके सो वाइल स्टडिंग द ओम्स लॉ यू ऑल मस्ट हैव गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू द टर्म रेजिस्टेंस राइट सो दिस रेजिस्टेंस इज बेसिकली द अपोजिंग फोर्स लाइक फ्रिक्शन इन केस इफ यू टेक मूवमेंट there is friction which opposes the movement so in a similar manner resistance is there which opposes the flow of current and any device which provides resistance in a circuit is known as resistor okay so this these were the basic definitions of what resistance is and what resistors are okay so like any other device that you connect in a circuit say it a battery or a bulb anything you can connect a resistor also in any circuit okay so now there are various ways in which we can connect these resistors there are two ways one is series connection and one is parallel connection okay so we will talk about both these connections so starting off with series connection as the name only suggests the there are more than two uh, there are more than one resistors there may be two three any number of resistors and you connect them one after other in series okay so this is a series connection now the question is why do we need to connect them in series or in parallel so the basic answer to this is at times you may not have a suitable value of resistor okay so to make the resistors which are available and get a suitable va value that's why we do these connections okay so now we know how resistors are connected in series okay so now i'll show you in parallel connection now parallel connection as the name suggests there are two branches which are parallel to each other and the resistors are connected in them okay so this is a parallel connection of resistors okay so the two connections that we have seen are series and parallel connections so doing a comparative study first of all you can clearly see the difference the resistors are connected in series in series connection and the resistors are connected as parallel in parallel connection now seeing the circuit let's say the current in series connection the current comes out of the cell it goes ahead it go passes through the resistors and it comes back into the cell now we know that the current exiting the cell and entering the cell is always the same okay and there are no other branches therefore we can say that the current through both the resistors is same okay so in series connection the current through both the resistors will always remain same but the potential difference is different across these resistors okay so the potential difference is different whereas the current is same across the resistors in series connection now coming to the parallel connection okay over here the current comes but then there is branching and the current separates therefore the current is different in both the resistors okay the amount of current is both is different in both but when we talk about the potential difference in this case then the potential difference will remain the same okay because see both of them have the same starting and the ending point okay so the potential across two points is always the same so in parallel connection we can say that current is different and the potential is same now suppose i have r1 r2 and r3 connected in series connection so how do we get an equivalent resistance equivalent resistance basically means if i remove these three resistors and put only one resistor in place of them then also there should be the same value so in case of series we have the formula that equivalent resistance is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay so this is the formula in case of series connection and now coming to the parallel connection we have the formula 1 by r equivalent is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay so we will be seeing the derivation of these formulas in further classes so this was a brief introduction about the resistance and resistors and how they are connected thank you please like this video and subscribe to our channel